the uh, Abadi government is on very shaky grounds. Uh, it's scored some successes against uh, Daesh, ISIS, and, and Fallujah. Uh, that's a major success. But uh, it is weak from within. Uh, politically, there is no stability, and Daesh and uh, the Islamic State, so-called, is making uh, full advantage, taking full advantage of that weakness. Unless uh, Mr. Abadi moves decisively to resolve outstanding political issues and stabilize the country and get, get the, the country to be coherent at, uh, at the social and political level, the opportunities will continue to arise for the terrorists to strike. Uh, fighting ISIS on the battlefield, uh, the, the caliphate, if you like, is one thing. You're taking territory, you're taking on uh, a, a visible enemy in many ways. The challenge is different when it comes to insurgent tactics, more of that urban threat within the population. The question then, how to combat that when it, when it is within the city? Yes, it is very difficult, uh, but you, for that, you know, I was, I was in 2004 Minister of Interior, responsible for, uh, for security of the country. Um, unless you have security forces, police forces, army, which are not divided along sectarian lines, which, are, which, which owe allegiance to the country as a whole and not to subgroups, within the country. You are not, you don't have the right instruments to, to deal with this. Mm. You, so with this, you need, you need obviously the security, as they say, uh, kinetic uh, action. You need intelligence action. You need also ideological uh, 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 combating the, 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 the ideology. All at all these fronts, if the state is not coherent within itself, if there are factions fighting a, 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 a subterranean struggle within the state, then the state is not in a position and, to confront that. And, 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 and to that point, uh, and you, you started on this a little bit earlier, ideology, it's, it's generally accepted, cannot be defeated militar militarily. It needs to be isolated and fought with, with an alternative ideology. And, and, you know, Mr. Abadi in many ways is fighting off the misdeeds of his predecessor, Nouri al-Maliki, when it comes to fostering uh, a sectarian division. What more needs to be done on that front? What can actually be done with regard to sheer Sunni reconciliation or at least fostering some sense of coexistence? Well, when, when Mr. Abadi came to power, we were all optimistic. We gave him the benefit of the doubt. I think, uh, you know, I know the man. He's uh, a decent person on the whole. He has the right instincts. But he is the product of this political background. He is an Islamist from the Dawa party, and he's committed and, 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 and to some extent forced to implement the dominance of this party. There is Iran be, uh, breathing down his neck. Uh, I don't think he can take much action that's going to weaken Iran's grip over the country. So he is hamstrung. Mm. He cannot take the actions that are politically necessary to really stand up to ISIS. Which, which, which you know, opens the door to others, does it not? I mean, you've got, you've got on one hand the Shiite the cleric Muqtadar al-Sadr, a man who can and has called people onto the streets and who can call on militia as well. I remember his supporters recently invaded the Green Zone and the Parliament. What, what are the risks that somebody like him could emerge as a spoiler if Mr. al-Abadi continues to weaken? Well, you will notice that at that time when uh, al Sadr supporters stormed parliament, at the same time, there was a militia called Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, which answers to uh, Soleimani, it answers to, to Iranian authority, um, was deployed in the very area which was attacked uh, uh, just now, uh, in Karada. So uh, it is a balance of terror between the different forces. This is not a way to run a state, and Mr. Abadi, as I said, is more of a prisoner of his position than really in command of the situation. Mm. Bri briefly, uh, uh, Ambassador, are you optimistic? There, there, there's more than one analyst out there who says, you know, Iraq as a cohesive, united nation is, is finished. I mean, wh what, what do you think? No, I, I am a believer and have continued all along to be a believer in a united Iraq because the, 
the, the sense of Iraqi nationalism has not died out. It's there, alive and kicking, and I believe it will survive. And, and all those who have written the obituary of Iraq uh, will be proved to be wrong. But to keep it together as a functioning state, that is a different problem. Yeah. And that is the challenge.